What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So, to run off where we left off, we have sent one of our detachments west to go and capture the city of Dublin against a small British garrison. It's been slightly depleted and we have more than enough troops to deal with it. However, I think we should be still worthy of fighting as it's the last main British settlement. Granted, they do have, an, they do have a force on Iceland, but we can pick them off at our leisure. So let's attack. Um, it might to hold off attacking Iceland until we have some troops ready invade the Americas so we can take advantage of their of the, the sudden switch of their colonies but then again they might actually all just immediately switch to the United States maybe some of the northern territories may become open and maybe some of the Caribbean territories might become may become open by possible targets Okay, let's put horse guards and the third regiment of foot on the left. It's got a nice heavy cavalry force. Um, our artillery can go up here because they're just going to fire. We're not going to be very mobile with them. And our infantry will push up on the right with the general. Cavalry stay still for now, because it looks like they want to come over in this direction. But I don't really want to provide them any opportunity. We are going to come across a bunch of militia first. Our artillery is allegedly opening fire. Probably got not got a line of sight against anyone, so they may as well try target this unit in the trees that we're going to bump up against. I don't know, but you're coming backwards. Tenth regiment of the tenth regiment of foot. Don't know where the hell they're supposed to be going. These guys are engaging my infantry, correct? Yep, they are. Good. Because I do want to send my cavalry up, but I don't want them to needlessly get shot. So maybe take a position up on this hill. And let's boost time a little bit, especially if it's just our infantry moving up. So we've got these chaps. Like so. They'll get some shots. They'll, they'll, they'll get picked out by the militia but it won't be a concern especially as we move our troops into the woods to flank so we've got our main force in front of them which we may slowly advance up send up our other Bring our other force on the left. Yep, you can hear their heard their drummers kick in. It's the first they'll know about it. A bullet's whipping through the trees. Come on, lads. I can't actually see them. So the flanking companies have opened up first, as will the other companies when they get in position. And they are, they have reorientated to face me. Okay, so let's do... Cover up onto this hill. So, what, who are we against? The 8th, the 6th, and the 7th, or the remnants of the 7th. 
Hmm, some hiding file I can't citizenry. Uh, they can't actually do anything helpful because they're out of range. Oop, there we go, they're charging in. These aren't... Nope, it's just a fence. Good. From here, it kind of looks like it might be stakes. Nope, don't worry about forming square. Come over here and take the high ground. Come on, lads. Got to reload your guns faster than that. Let's get my covering on the general. Hundred and five strong regiment of horse, backed up by ninety units of ninety troopers of heavy cavalry. There's their lone gunner retreating. There's no no point in trying to actually chase them down. God, the eighth have been routed because they've just got regular musket drill. Yeah. So now. This is why you want to, when you have the the advantage in fire by fire advantage in f of fire by rank, you really want to want to maximise those gains as quickly as possible. So the general's been killed. Well, he hasn't been killed. He was routed, then he was killed. Okay, everyone. Bayonet charge. Let's break them in a complete and comprehensive charge. probably lose some of my own Danish troops out of this, but I think the the effort is worth it. Good lads. So where's the remaining... Okay, I do want, even though it's the end of the city battle. I want to continue it. Because I want... Oh, you chase down those guys. 20 kills might not be enough to get you up and let experience level, but... May as well test your spurs on them. Because I want to get my... Take the advantage with this pretty pretty fresh army to actually to actually gain some experience for my troops. There's only five dudes. Yeah. Okay, so run over here. Now attack them. Good. Now you're left with just one guy over there. Oh, and that's the last guy on the map. It's probably not going to be enough, but... Oh, they all ran straight past him. Now they got him. Decisive victory. Damn right it was decisive. So we've secured the British Isles. Let's fix the government building, and let's send our cavalry down to scout towards Waterford to kick the Royal Navy out of our waters. Good. So, uh, so through my Patreon, I have actually had I have had a naming request, which I will fulfil. So let's pick 
I want to try find if I can even find the first regiment of foot. It's probably somewhere else, but I want to name. I want to name this one because I'm an experienced one. So, Navy Quest has his first. Sorry, I had a cable on my on my keyboard. Kalmar Infantry Division. Awesome. It's a very experienced regiment with my main general, Frederick Carlson. There we go. Awesome. That has worked, hasn't it? Good. Cool. Um, so yeah, that is a, it's a Patreon benefit. P link to Patreon is in my is in the uh, comment section of this video. I think I suspect the first is yeah. There's the actual first, but right now they're just a bit of a blocking force. So I don't where possible I want my named units to actually be somewhere in the thick of the fighting. Cool. So what I also need to do is start to rebuild my darn navy, which I. Can do my dockyard. Get me fourths. Can't get me fourths of the biggest ship I can get at the minute, and I think I'm going to be okay with that. Um, so is London sufficiently okay? I can actually leave it now. No, they do still hate me. So it is going to tie down that navy for a the army for a while, just because of the resistance occupation. Don't want to get rid of the school um, because. Oh, actually, I think that's all the. That's all of the. Uh, all of the towns actually built. So we've not got a religious. We haven't got a religious problem. I may actually destroy one of the this craft workshop in Oxford and replace it with a. Coaching in to help offset the college. The course change in the long run. Cool. So let's hit end turn. I'm curious when Britain will eventually try to sue for peace. Yep, there's the Royal Navy. Oh, they're they coming up. Oh, they're coming back after us. Okay, where will they hit? I probably want to bring my Ireland garrison back to Edinburgh. Because Edinburgh, Edinburgh's fortified. Fortified, so it'd be easy to take an island, and if it is Ireland again, I'll just take them. And to be honest, that's actually. They demand Finland for Astrakhan. No, and they will. Yeah, they offer to give us some good tech, but no. We are already allies, Russia. This is quite an advantageous position for the pair of us. Because right now they've got no. They've got no worries or, th or threats from me. I mean, I've got that small fort near St. Petersburg, which I want to slowly ramp up a garrison in. But apart from that, I don't really see the problem. So. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah, build up Waterford. So I suspect this is that garrison. Yeah, which is full of full of conscripts and cavalry of John Churchill. If I had a decent navy, I'd attack them. I, try, I, try, I would like to try sink them. But I do not. Um, but what, it, what it is tempting to do is can I do the old switcheroo? So this is a bit of a bit of a risk. Well, actually, I can risk a sloop. Go have a look at Iceland. Because if that's the garrison, you got pikes and conscripts and a few troops. But what I could do is, could I send my island garrison out and capture Iceland while these guys are at sea, immediately causing them to despawn? Personally, I find that quite funny. Could defend them. I could defend Edinburgh. I, sus I suspect they're going to come for Edinburgh. Well, they might actually go for my capital, or do something much more annoying. So let's get invest in some fourths. Let's just invest in just two for now. Let's upgrade the mill. 
think. I think I might try it. As long as I don't pick the same sloop. That's a brig. Same difference. So sell the brig to Belfast. I mean, these guys probably won't like me leaving, but... I don't know. Pretty good. Hop into the boat. Oop. Oh, they can't actually get there in one turn. Sail to the fishery. Oh god, get the hell away from that. So that's going to be the end of them. And I think what actually I might have done is absolutely cocked it up. So let's take... Take all that in a big a big wedge of infantry out. Yeah, be grumpy, but if I exempt you from tax, you'll go away. Oh, you guys don't won't get all get up there at the same time for some weird reason. Um, but I can get you into a ship. Embark you aboard. Sell you around to Glasgow. We still don't make it in one turn, but as long as I've got all my ports blockaded, then they can't actually sprint and capture anywhere or take them a turn. So you guys go back to Copenhagen. Just to make sure. Similar sort of treatment, make sure my ports are occupied. Okie dokie. So let's hit and turn. Hmm, one fleet sell off to the Americas, the other fleet is. is gonna sit in the channels. That does give my army in Norway, in Iceland, an opportunity to destroy the British faction. Might be a bit of a gamble, but I'm... See, I'm... I'm yes, absolutely. You know what, France? That is perfect. They're going to pay me to trade with me. And you know what? I accept that deal. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I didn't look at building ships in Portsmouth. I could probably build some decent ones in Portsmouth as well. Polish scholars are on the march. Let's see if they do anything of note. Go on. Sir. I think they are at war with the. Oof! <laughs> so they were Norway and Sweden. And they'll give me Ashkan, Bashrika, Tatoria, and Ukraine. That is quite a big wedge of their territory, but no. This is why I absolutely need to be careful about Russia because they're they're programming wants those territories. But I've got them, but we're allies, so they want an opportunity to break. They want an opportunity to break break their alliance with me. Those rebels. So it's the flying shuttle that's been researched. Let's build a happiness building. So before we do too much of anything, we need to go up here and attack. And fortunately, it's lots of militia. My cavalry need to do some work. Um, but we are going to assault Reykjavik to get rid of that navy that's off the coast of Norway. And it will also save my little old brig, which didn't get attacked for some reason. Um, but yes, we're going to attack Iceland. It's a bit dodgy because my troops are a bit weak. Um, but we've got a good amount of cavalry. Oh yeah, I don't have my hussars because they're covering the port. Bit of a loss that. We've got some grenadier guards, we've got some dragoon, horse dragoon guards, and got some heavy cavalry. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let us assault. Strong unit puts out as much firepower as a militia unit can. Even if they all fired at once, but might reload faster. 
I've probably got more ammunition, so I think it's a good trade. But yes, by doing this, we get rid of those brothers to capture them. Um, and I don't have the time. Well, if I didn't, if I don't do it now, they'll do some really annoying things. That's that's where I'm at at the minute. Actually, I might deploy my infantry on this side of me. Deploy my guns more like here. Because we do need to push up. Okay, so they've all deployed in like the exact opposite end of the map. So let's send my... As we've got an isolated militia unit, let's send my cavalry to go dice them up. Yeah, I was just thinking, I might not actually want to send all my infantry round this way. Good job, my heavy cavalry. Well, they did get a bit of a blast of it. So that's their, their mortars firing. Yep, against my cavalry. Okay. Get my cavalry out of there. God damn it, when you want your cavalry to run, but they just don't. Like, they kept getting, dragging this militia unit along with them. So let's get my infantry in there with them. Let's get my dragoons to chase them down for a little bit. Teach you to chase after us. Nicely, it looks like they are actually coming after us. Okay, so let's do this. it looks like they are going to march towards us. So let's speed up time a little bit. I mean, just fire your guns at them. As they're coming close. And has it left a gap for my, me to go around and snipe their mortars? Potentially. Choose my dragoons. Are well, they just out of range? All their shots are falling short. Okay, let's deploy. You guys to the right. I'm only unlimbering, I'm only unlimbering my guns to to relimber them up in a better position. To unlimber them in a better position, sorry. Gonna put them somewhere where I can bring their caster shot to bear, because right now. So it's very nice of them to. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Dragoons. Ignore that order. In which case, then I might put my. March to them. Let's quickly speed up time a little bit.
So it's unfortunate they're not letting us fight the battle on our own terms. Sad face. Oh, missed some infantry. Okay, my Dragoons are going to run in because they've left us a nice gap. To go hit their mortars because they've very, very kindly fallen back. Bash. Good. Pull our Dragoons back. There we go. Oh, wow. Militia units actually come around. Don't worry, these are heavy cavalry. This is the kind of fighting they love. God, how did I miss that? So, General is at risk. But I'm hoping the Swords of our Heavy Cavalry will just mince up this militia unit. That's the hope. Then these guys can advance around the flank into the open ground. Let's make sure these guys aren't being... This artillery isn't being dumb. Awesome. These guys need to run into position. General can chase them down. Let's bring my heavy cavalry into bear in the center again. God, this has been a very messy battle. Keep my cavalry more in the in the buildings. Good. Got you in a bit of a panic now, don't we? Taking away your artillery. They're not gonna walk now because these guys are tired, particularly this unit, because they've been running everywhere. But they will run at the last second to form their line. Run! There we go. Oop, play. So we can catch them on the flank. Let's get our Dragoons around here, in case they stay on the battlefield for longer than you expect. Here we go, getting them to commit. And this is where the mass firepower comes into effect. Run my heavy cavalry in. These chaps route, please. Because all they need to do is touch that red line and they're gone. Awesome. God, good God. Heavy cavalry made them route. Come on, let's storm up the line. So there is just this unit of conscripts and the provincial militia. Let's just boost up time a little bit. 
I mean, my Dragoon Guards are going to chase down this unit of militia. I mean, if they want to charge... If they want to use the Provincial Militia to engage them, fair enough. Because you're about to be engaged in the flank. By Fusiliers, no less. Fusiliers are very, very accurate, and they reload very quickly. I think a, se a second rank bonus line infantry unit does not shoot anywhere. N I mean, it's a second rank fusilier unit, so that's where the accuracy is 60. But yeah, fusiliers in general are very, very good shooting, but they're not good fighters. That's why they're so good with fire by rank, is because the enemy usually breaks before the enemy usually breaks before that becomes a problem. Like they're literally just running away now. Rather than actually engaging us. Okay, now they are. You've got a position on them. It's the poor old 6th Regiment that hasn't had a chance to get itself any experience. Oh god, I didn't mean to target... Well, I didn't target them with my cavalry. It's meant to go for these guys that are running away, but they've decided they wanted to charge into the infantry. Fair enough. Send the battle there. Heroic victory. And that is the Empire. That's what they get when they declare war on us. We never forgive. Never forget. So just so disappears the Royal Navy and we've get as we gain back our ancient Danish territory. Let's get this chat back into port. We were never we never forgot you, Iceland. We were coming after you. So that is Britain conquered. Her navy's destroyed and disbanded. We can actually move this guy back out from here now, and he will get ready to build a fort. Well, once a recruit a general, Fridolf Rask, he will build a he will build a he will build a fort to help protect our territory. What could we build here? Great Parliament, lovely. Okay, let's get my Sars back. Let's recombine the army. Let's upgrade the college in England because we're already making people a bit happier again. I mean, it's just, it's just this resistance to foreign occupation. When that goes away, we'll be fine. Wait a minute. So we've destroyed. So we've destroyed Britain, but do they, they don't even get a. They don't even get a, you know, a mournful little horn to, because they have got, they have gone. Like they don't exist in any annoying places like hidden behind Russia. But I suppose the only way to really find out. Oh, Thirteen colonies are still there. Ah, there we go. Thirteen colonies, in their own faction. British territories have become pirates. So Jamaica and the Bahamas have become pirates. As has Rupert's Land, and it's Rupert's Land I would like to take, because that would open us up to North American trade. Thirteen colonies. You might... Join us, thirteen colonies. I was going to say, we are Britain now. Portugal, we're unfriendly, but let's trade. Well, okay, what about trade... And have flintlock cannon. Good. And the Mughals. God, they've killed the Marathas. Make some money. They have killed the Marathas. Holy hell. The Cherokee. Poland's still. There's no real. Prussia, I suppose, is the strongest in Europe at the moment. Poland's done well because they've taken Königsberg. 
and held on to Gdansk. Cool, got 2,000. So we're going to recombine this army. This army up here in Iceland, you will be the ones that go north. Well, originally west, but they'll go north to secure Rupert's land and engage in colonial warfare in the Americas. Like I said, I'm a bit concerned about Hanover, because that's a lot of troops to sit there doing nothing, especially when you have... I mean, you're at war with Austria, but... I mean, you're not doing anything about it, are you? So let's enter. I don't like that French Navy sat there. The Spanish are pumping more troops into North Africa. Hopefully that means they will open up a front against the Ottomans. In or do I, so do I go after Rupert's Land or do I go after one of their islands? Because right now I've got furs to trade. It's a resource I've already got. But if I go for Bahamas, I get sugar. And the same with Jamaica, that also gets me sugar. Hmm. But I definitely want to go over there with a the navy. That's the... That's the main thing. I don't want to risk a long shot with a sloop, but... Good York has got the cloth mill. Re bring just put my army back together. Let's build a sloop there. Bring you back. Let's recruit a militia unit to go occupy Portsmouth. Start building some forts in Portsmouth. So I might end up having two fleets. This will end up being my Baltic fleet. Which I'm probably going to stay keep based out of there. So that's two more fourths. Okay. Who do I want to lead? God, that's a suitably unpronounceable name for me. Blacheren, or something like that. Good. <laughs> Odd Bjorkman. Watch out, there comes Odd Bjorkman. Oh, right, that's perfect. Okay, so he can... So he can build up... He can build up the Baltic fleet. Could build the War Galleons, but... I mean, the War Galleons got more firepower than a 4th rate, but less health. So I might add a couple of those in, just to mix up a bit. Lots of tech advances, so we're going to go have to actually pick these specifically now. So, don't bother with... I don't know. Eh, minus 15% minus upkeep is pretty good. Don't worry about wedge. Okay, start going on to more of these economic tiers. Then we've got... Then we've got naval tax. Do we want... Eh, Modern explosive shells are not great arsenal. Might not be a bad idea. But we've got lots of farms as well, so doing that current research is valuable. Okay, let's bring back bring back the hussars and get this area this guy to recruit a sloop for their own protection. That's all been brought over. Okay, so Iceland have some more money spent on getting you replenished. So, I think we're going to want to slowly draw out these conscripts. Or maybe start to... Okay, I might disband the demi cannons, or one demi cannon for now. Go to only afford one. Start placing it as 12 pounders. Actually, how, how old are you? You're 46. You should be alright for this campaign. It's four turns per... It's four turns per... Um, per year. But I think when I've spent all the money I want to spend. So, I'm looking at the timer. I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Denmark. Alright, cheers, guys.